Hey guys, welcome back to a Minecraft video, and for this video, we're going to be doing the next episode of our special mobs. If you haven't seen the other ones, there will be links in the description to the other episodes. But in this episode, we're going to be testing out the silverfish, because these silverfish are quite different than what you'd normally expect. We have um, one, two, three, four, five different varieties. We have the blinding one, the fish uh, flying one, the tough the fishing and then we have the poison one these can basically be found in the normal ways you would find silverfish like around like cobblestone wash your mine etc and they are quite rare and you might only find about two or three per day like they're quite rare to find um but let's get started so mark has left us a chest and let's see what it says the book says dear brothers i found these silverfish in a cave what are they and what do they drop? Thanks, Mark. So I think we're going to answer Mark's question right now. So let's get started with uh, this one right here. It seems to be stuck in the corner. Let's kind of like get it out so it can kind of fly around. I don't think it's going to do it. We're going to have to hit it once. There we go. So it's the poison silverfish. It is an awesome one. What this one will do is it will just poison you gently, like it's not that bad to be honest. It's not going to kill you, and well hopefully it doesn't. And the item it drops is a spider eye on a rare occasion. So what I am going to do for each of these, is I am going to go into game mode. But before I do that, I'm going to put on some leather body, because really that's the kind of only defense you need. I'm going to get out a wooden sword, because some of these are just too easy to kill, and I don't want to kill it in one hit. So game mode, zero, there we go. There we go, we now got poison for just five seconds. It's not gonna be that bad to be honest. And there we have it. So he dropped the spider eye, which was a rare drop. So that was pretty cool to be honest. So let's go back on creative mode. There we have it. And we can get rid of this spider eye. So the next one we have is over here. Now in case you're wondering why I had to put it in diamond flooring, because if it was in like cobblestone or stone or something like that, they would just go straight through. So to be able to show you guys every single one of these, um, I had to put them on diamond blocks, um, so that's the only thing about this one. But today, the next one we have is the fishing silverfish. What this one will do is that it will reel you in when coming to attack you. It has 90% speed, which means that it's quite slow. So using that reel you in will basically make it a little bit more advantageous than you are at the moment. And the only th item it will drop is raw fish, so that's pretty cool also. So let's get ready to kill this one. There we go, I'm getting quite ready. Game mode zero. So if I try and run away, so let me just jump over here actually. Oh. Is it doing anything? Come on. So wait, I'm gonna go into game mode one. I am going to go over here and game mode zero. There we have it. Did you see that? Um, I'm not sure if you saw the uh, fishing rod come out. Let's see, Let's, let me go above here. Is it going to reel me in if I run over here? There we go. Did you see that? Like, that is pretty cool. It's a good thing it can actually do, like, over fences, you know. It does happen every few seconds, but besides that, it's not so bad. Look, keep on reeling me in. So let's go and kill it now. Where is it? There it is. They are obviously so easy to kill, and it didn't drop anything that time. So let's move on into the tough one. So let's go in game, game mode. Oh, do you see that one on the left screen there? Game mode 1. So here we have the tough one. This one just basically has strong, strong defense. And what it will drop is a flint and an iron ingot on a rare occasion. So this one is actually a hard one to kill. So I'm going to use an iron sword this time. So game mode 0. Like, look at it. With our iron sword, we can only hit 1 or 2. Um, it seems to be able to, we are be able to hit about 1.3 or 4, I think it is at the moment, because of those figures right there. So there we go, we almost killed it. There we go. Come on. Come on. There we go. That's pretty cool. Oh my goodness. Look, I, don't, I actually have no idea what's going on here. So game mode one. Where did they come from? I literally have no idea where these came from. I'm going to have to kill them, so I'll be right back in a second. So I managed to kill them, and the next one we have is the flying one. When it's coming to attack you, it will basically fly above you 
and it has 130% speed. And I'll show you in a second what I mean by that. And all it drops is some leather. I don't know why it drops leather, but that seems to be the item it drops. So we're going game mode zero. Let's see. I'm going to use a wooden sword this time. Wooden. Come on. Okay, I'm going to have to open up this area here. And here we have it. So if I start running away now. There you go. Do you see it jump in front of me? i got to run away more. It seems to be a bit slow, actually. There we go. There we have it. So now I can kill it. You saw what it did. And I'm actually dying, which is actually pretty scary. Like, I did not expect the silverfish to be able to kill me. And they seem to be doing it quite well. Um, and as you just saw, it drops leather. And we have the last one here, which is the blinding one. So the best thing we should do now is just go in game mode real quick. And get out some food, because we're dying away. And the final one we have is this one over here, which is the blinding one. Um, they all seem to get stuck in these corners, which is actually quite annoying. There we go. There you go, fella. And it's not showing up on my NPCs. But besides that, it is the blinding one. It is pretty cool. And the item it drops is Ink Sack. And you will kind of understand why. It's like if he threw Ink Sack in your face. Like, that's how bad it is. So let's go over. Let's go on game mode. Zero. Here we get ready. Go. Come on, fella. Come on. There we go. And as you can see, we can't really see that far away from us. But you can see him attacking you. And that is pretty cool. So, oh, and we have another one trying to attack us. So now we're stuck in this cage. So it kind of wraps up everything, to be honest, about this mod. Um, if you have any questions, please post them below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you all very soon with another video. Peace out.